Morning, you grumpy old git in the grumpy chair. Is How this the you? Gr- it, 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 you naturally sit in a position that makes you feel gump- grumpy when the cat's back. That's why. That's better. Well, now, I'm like, now I'm like, I'm just going to go through your attire today. We have a, a knock snapback. snap bag. We have a Lean Machines jumper. We have some Under Armour leggings. Yeah, but then also we've got totem. And your totem shorts. And I, I, really, it's the socks that I like. They feel like nice fade, like an Mate, ombre I on bought them. These. I bought these at Battle for Middle Ground. As a oh booger, um, I went and bought some new knee sleeves because we were talking about this. Every time, if you buy Ray Ban knee sleeves, which are freaking amazing, by the way, don't buy them off Amazon because what happens, John? You pay twenty pound for you what know, you think ooh, is a pair. You're like, oh, that's a steal for them, and they turn up about a week later. I say they, that's wrong. It turns up. So while I was there, I was like, I'm going to buy two because I can physically see two. Bought some Ray Bans and I saw these. And you got some news. Have you seen my socks? I got Rose bought me for my birthday. A bit notorious. Notorious! I like, that, I like that you give it a slow, slow Pan. Got my slippers on as well. Uh, good shins, nice healthy shins as always from Barbells. Good morning, Luna. How are you, babes? Oh, don't do that to her. <laughs> John, get me some caffeine. Let's get some coffee. Because we're get... going to do a podcast. Podcast. And we're going to talk about personal training. Is that what we're doing today? Good, I'm glad you had an idea because I didn't. Right, so we are going to grab coffee, smash a podcast, and then we're going to go meet the boys, uh, and then we're going to hit a workout. No, it's, it's Matt and Leon's first session back since competing at the weekend. Look, Leon this is. This is how well I look, Bill. Luna, get out of the bin, trash panda. Alexa, tell me something interesting. Wombats, an Australian marsupial species. Have cubic dumb. I love asking Alexa, tell me something interesting. You get the most amazing things that you can either impress your friends with or potentially win a pub quiz if you ever decide to do one. What's up guys? Welcome back to TLM Radio episode number 22. Good morning chaps. Hi. How are we? Good, good. you got it right with lunch, John. It is still morning for eight minutes. Because we're all on time today. How do you feel? Recovered from the weekend? Yeah, I feel stiff, but not sore anymore. And the first coffee in first what, four coffee days? in four days. So you're going to spend at least <laughs> half an hour of the workout on the toilet? Yeah, I'm going to be pumped today. I'm on Poo City. How are you? What have you got today? An iced latte? Oh, flat white. I also saw you put sprinkles of your carb kill on top of it. Yeah, so what you do, okay, with the birthday cake bars, these get everywhere in my car. The hack is, put that on your flat white, it makes it better. Spot the diabetic. <laughs> I've already seen you this morning, but how are you feeling? Did you go for a coffee too? I got decaf. Oh, why? Because you're going to have a knocko? No, just because I wanted to dip my fruit and nut biscuit into something. <laughs> and I didn't want a coffee because we just had one. Fair play. And I, um, you're a changed man. Now I'm going to have a knocko. <laughs> yeah. Back. <laughs> Make it free hit to caffeine before midday, why not? Oh, you've had two coffees this morning already? Yeah, one. Oh, there you go, the plot thickens. Leon, what are you doing today? Uh, I'm going to start with 5k row. And see how I feel. That's just a great conversation with your foot. My body's still pretty, <laughs> pretty beaten up, to be honest. The so 5k row. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's got a nice, easy, chilled 5k by looks of things. Oh, it's filthy. 1809. 148. A 148. Nice recovery row, Matt. Yeah, just. <laughs> nice rest day, Matt. Thanks. Last 190 meters. Oh, it's gonna have a good time here. 1931. It's a PB. It's your first 5,000 meter row, but it's a PB. How'd that feel? Shit. <laughs> Look at those punchy arms. See them warm up so good. So, in between all the bullying and banter, what we actually did was eight to ten sets of we hit three. Right in the middle, nine sets. We did nine, didn't we? Three touch and go squat snatches, three overhead squats. Uh, Leon and I, my weight was 50. My actual weight was 47, but I was like, I'll just go 50, the same as Leon. We share a bar. Next up, we're doing what, Toby? Go. You're on the squat. What are we doing now? We're doing clean front squat and jerk. You're a jerk. So, in our last video, I had someone comment said, oh, is Toby di- diabetic? And I filmed a big bit with Toby about him being diabetic, and Toby went, 
You always mention I'm diabetic in the video, everyone knows that, and then people commented on it and I deleted all that stuff out. Yeah. So, Toby's type, type 1 diabetic. Well, hey, on, what do you know about overheating as diabetic? Someone yeah, did, you, did you see that? I saw that on your Yeah, so I then, I then searched it. I didn't and so, but it. I'd never, never heard of before. I was in a live on Instagram yesterday and someone said, uh, what, do you, what do you think about, or what do I need to make sure I do with training? I'm diabetic, and I, but I have to worry about overheating. overheating. And I was like, well, I've never heard that before. I train with Toby all the time. And I looked it up and there was some stuff on it. And it basically didn't tell me why, but it said people that take heart, heart medication and other medications are, have to worry about overheating. Heating. And it said if you're wearing a pump, the sweat might loosen your pump off. Oh, okay. But they didn't actually say anything about the yeah, the real yeah. Like so Matt saying that Toby always runs cold. Always cold. So if anyone knows, because I don't know and I would like to know more, and I don't know where to find it. If you know anything about diabetics and having to watch with overheating more than normal people yeah, when training, I, I let me know. I but and let Toby know. But I don't know much. No, we'll have some GPs and real smart people that will watch this and they'll know. And they can help us out, please. Is my bag because we were meant to go swimming with Zach. So you should uh, probably tell everyone that you're a lifeguard. Well, not anymore. <laughs> what, what was that thing? Was? <laughs> I uh, got fired by my housemate, guys. Because you had a low. Uh, yeah. So now we're up now, but now that was the catalyst for you sorting out your. Uh... Wow. You're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> Don't, do like this, oh, it's gonna Don't do it. <laughs> That was really bloody hard, those strict toes to bars. Best I've ever done, most control without the swinging, um, and that's just from doing them more. But now, 13 toes to bar every minute for 12. Last week I had strict toes to bar, and it was 13 every minute for 10, and I just made that. And that's a lot of toes to bar in 10 minutes, 13 every minute on the minute. This time it's for 12, and I just, yeah, it's gonna be bloody hard. So let's just see how it goes. How was it, Big TV? Good. I not, your, that. not your favourite exercise, Tovar, but you're getting better at them. I am, getting there. It's getting there. I've had a lot of work on it. What well, did you stick to? Eight? Eight. Just did eight for 12 minutes. Good lad. Hurt? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I mean, the strict hurt anyway. My abs are in trouble. Hurt more. Yeah. I did four arms on that one. Oh, I mean, you had to do seven strict. Yeah. So it's pretty much the same. I did the same strict. I did seven. Yeah, but as I'm saying, my EMOM and my strict yeah, are the yeah, same. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Last bit of work today, three minutes to get as far through this as you can, 400 meter run, 21 kettlebell swings, 12 burpees, kettlebell is 32 kilos, and then as many shoulder to overhead you can get 60, from what I've seen not really anyone's making the shoulder to overhead yet, we're going to give it a go, you have three minutes to get as far as you can, rest a minute, repeat three to five times, wish us luck.
that was good. Shit, I'm feeling fit. Feeling good about that. Uh, I got four, 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 and five reps on the 60 kilo shoulder overhead to finish. So I got on about with a minute 20 seconds on most rounds to get the 21 kettlebell swings, 12 burpees, and four to five shoulders overhead. <sighs> That session was awesome. Toby had me in hysterics. I was just looking back at some of the footage and he's just dribbling behind. I should really just call this Toby's blog, to be honest. Um, anyway, I'm feeling really fit at the moment. I'm feeling really good. Uh, as you could tell by the end of that run workout, I was kind of pretty, pretty happy. Um, for the last eight weeks, I've been training with Matt and Toby and I've jumped in on JST programming just because before I was having problems with my knees uh, and I wanted to do something that was a bit more conditioned conditioning bias, so basically just working on my fitness to give my kind of legs a break with any niggles that I had. I've had eight weeks of solid training, feeling really good, loved every session, enjoyed training with my mates, enjoyed the friendly competition. Um, and I would say that this is the fittest I've ever been since doing CrossFit. Uh, maybe not the fittest I've ever been in my life. When I was doing Jiu Jitsu and MMA, I was stupid fit, but that didn't necessarily cross over into CrossFit. Something that Zach always says is, it's much more important to be fit in CrossFit than it is strong because Strong is only one element of it, whereas you have to be fit across the board, and I'm talking about cardiovascular fitness. If you're cycling a barbell, yes, you need to be strong to do it, but you need to be fit to hold onto the bar. If you're doing gymnastics, you're fit. If you need to run, you've got to be fit, because there's few and far CrossFit workouts, they're far between where you're not out of breath, and you haven't got your heart rate through the roof, uh, or certainly up there, so fitness is a massive component of that. Um, and I'm feeling really good, and I'm just gonna do this training um, until I don't enjoy it anymore, but up to the open, I'm on an open bias, um, and roll on October's open and see where we go. Um, but my advice for you guys is find a program that you enjoy, if you're just kind of um, aimlessly wandering around the gym at the moment, and maybe you're not doing classes, find yourself a program that you enjoy, uh, and if, like me, you enjoy training with your friends. It's like a party every time we go into the gym. We have a bit of caffeine, we have a knocker, we have a laugh, we take the mick out of each other, but we also get the work done. And it literally is, it, it's, you know how people go to the pub and get drunk? Uh, I do that from time to time, but working out is that for me, and I get to do that every day and I on. Um, so my advice to you guys is find a group of people or something that you really love doing, um, and that will push you further than you probably ever thought that you could. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna jump in the shower to stink, and I'll meet you guys back here. Bobby has just woken up, and she's gorgeous as always, uh, and I thought I'd kind of do the second part of this vlog more in my home life, something that I don't show that much on, on the YouTubes. We just kind of get ready in the morning, get hyped, go train, talk about training. Um, but my life's in a really good place at the moment, it's lovely. Bobby's at this gorgeous little age. Those who don't know who Bobby is, my little girl, she's uh, four months, almost five months now. She's just starting to kind of scream at me in the morning and stuff like that and everything's just... She's starting to come a bit more awake and become a little human. It's lovely now you, you can read her a little bit better and you can see what she's up to. And she's just staring at me. Hello, little girl. How are you? Are you lovely? <laughs> anyway, we have family duties to do now. I'm not sure if I said it in this vlog, but our carbon monoxide monitor went off the other night, our alarm. So it's like everyone at the house, get around mums. So we've got to go to Argos around the corner to buy a carbon monoxide alarm, get Luna some litter tray before she poos in her kind of little travel thing, which I'm a little bit worried that she might do. Hey babes. Uh, and there's a Marks and Spencers uh, there that does this orange juice. fizzy orange juice. Does this orange Florentine kind of, I don't know what it is. It's just basically really nice fizzy orange. Uh, let's go ladies. Rosie doesn't like being on the camera. She's hiding. And this is kind of my office room. It's a bit of a mess, as all of our house tends to be with a little one. Um, we're, I'm just gonna hold her hands up. I'm not, I'm just not the tidiest guy. It's always a shithole in my house. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's not very clean at the moment. Um, hey, this is this is real life. Not my, uh, what is it that everyone does on Instagram? Living my best life. This is living my real life. <laughs> Shoes on the floor, cat bed, empty cat bowls, which are now gonna go in the wash. Hey, mama bear. <laughs> what are those? Are they fish lickers? Right. Look at them. <laughs> living the dream. You are living your best life in those fish slippers. <laughs> I'll tell you, one of the biggest things you notice once you have a little one is you remember what it used to be like to just walk out of the house and go somewhere? Now, you have to do like 50 things, forget five things, go back in and out of the house four times, just put Bobby in the car seat, and we're like, hmm, is that light meant to be on? And I'm pretty sure it's always meant to be on. What? <laughs> I 
I was just looking at this. You scared the life out of me, like there's something wrong with her. Um, <laughs> God. Am I in shot? Uh, yeah, you are. Uh, I'll turn it away so you're not in shot. I look like Slimer's undercarriage. Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Worst day ever. <laughs> Worst day ever. Um, yeah, anyway, the light came on and we weren't sure. So now we're reading the instruction manual for the car seat before we leave. Probably going to miss Argos to get litter and a carbon monoxide alarm. But we have to make sure the little one's safe first. Living the dream. <coughs> Traffic. Crying baby. <coughs> Yeah, check. Smoke alarm. 